And now to coronavirus. Teachers are in short supply countywide, and this comes as COVID cases in local school districts continue to climb. Today, San Diego Unified sent out its plan detailing what it will do if more teachers get infected. ABC 10 News reporter Sophia Hernandez spoke to administrators with the school district today. Sophia. Yeah, Kimberly, number one, they hope that these plans are only temporary. They say that their number one goal is keeping the classrooms open. However, teachers, they say they already feel the strain and they're hoping that this is at least a step in the right direction. SDUSD telling parents that for the next month, school principals have the green light to use other staff members to supervise children when teachers and substitutes are unavailable. Our number one goal is safety for our students. Our number two goal is to keep our students in school. Their mental health is really unfortunate. When they were out for a year and a half, we found that our students did not fare well with that. The district says in order to keep classrooms running, they also plan to cancel any non-essential activities like trainings, field trips and assemblies, deliver more masks and establish a rapid testing station to clear employees quickly. Last week, Dr. Howard Terras says the district saw their highest numbers 790 cases, 142 of them among students, 648 among staff. Yet he believes it's more. We are having an enormous number of cases. And in my opinion, counting cases now is going to be very inaccurate. Teachers in other districts say they are dealing with the same thing. I've been out for the, for the first week of January with COVID and my co-teacher, because um, we teach a special education class together, she's also out with COVID. It would have been a lot less disruptive to their learning if we had just said, okay, we're going to go back to the distance learning schedule for three weeks or a month or until... <laughs> Fewer people have COVID. Teachers unions say this plan is a great framework, but details for rollout and what it will look like are still missing. The absences are so great. The priority really is just supervision and keeping kids safe. So the educational program sort of gets pushed to the side. These two weeks, it hasn't been a regular, these two weeks haven't been regular school. And the district also said that if none of the plans that they put into play work, a principal does have the option to call a COVID impact day. It's very similar to a heat day. Now coming up at five, we're going to be hearing more concerns from teachers about what this plan means for them. Reporting live, Sophia Hernandez, ABC 10 News. We look forward to that at five o'clock. Thank you, Sophia.